All right, now we're doing 8Q Duck Duck Goose. This is by 10XL. 84% of the people like it. The object of Duck Duck Goose is to walk in a circle, tapping each player, tapping on each player's head until one is chosen. Right. And what we're going to do is basically just keep going through, and whatever the goose is, which is this one, that's the one we're going to land on. Okay. That being said, let's just set this up right now. All right. For this one, we just need a knowledge of how classes work and how to access classes and stuff like that. How to access arrays and whatnot. So first things first, uh, we're going to say player, players. And players is going to be this list right here because uh, it's just going to do a X names dot map this dot map and then it's going to populate it with this array right here and uh, so players and then to access that we're going to do a little bit of this uh, bracket action and then we're going to say to land on which specific one we want to land on we're going to say goose minus one because this is going to be in a one based index so it's going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and that's what this uh, goose is going to be based on. But we need to base it back on zero. So it's going to be goose minus one, making this zero, one, two, three, four, five, whatnot. All right. And then we're going to use the remainder operator. And we're going to say players dot length. All right. And that means basically uh, here's this is 10 right here. So let's say uh, we want to go to three. So. Uh, it's going to be three here, goose minus one, three, so it's going to be two, and then remainder operator, players that length, remainder operator of ten, so it's going to be ten, remainder two. So it's just going to be, excuse me, it's going to be zero, remainder two. So it's just going to say zero, one, two, and it's going to land on C, okay? And hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I don't really know how to explain it any better than that uh, at the moment. So now we're going to have to access which name it is. And for that, we're just going to do the dot name, dot name, because it's a class player. Here's the constructor's name, and then it's this dot name. OK, hopefully this works. Let's see. All right. And it does attempt it. Great. Submit it. And if you want to learn more about classes, here's the uh, page for it. It'll tell you all you need to know, but not It'll tell you enough, okay. And then uh, over here, let's do my solutions. Best practice on this one is just the three of us. Uh, very much like this, and we'll see you next time.